Mega Region 2. Can we give them a huge round of applause? Mega Region 4. I'm sorry. Mega Region 3 is here today? Okay. Mega Region 3. Mega Region 4. Canada West. And finally, Canada East. our youth seated in the front. If you're a youth and you're sitting upstairs, you're breaking the rules. If you're a youth and you're sitting in the back, you're not to be sitting with your parents. You're not to be sitting in the back. We need you to be sitting up here. All right, can we shout a loud hallelujah? Let's all move forward. I still see a bunch of empty spaces right in front. Let's all move forward. All right, so we had day one of the competition yesterday, and now we're moving into day two. And we have our mega regions represented, plus Canada East and Canada West. You remember the rules. Each team has a unique question that they will select, and they have 30 seconds to answer the question. Once the 30 seconds is up, the answer pops up on the screen. We ask you all, no calling out the answer, no calling out the answer, and no mouthing the answer to. No lip, you know, giving, trying to give people the answer, even without making noise. No, no cheating of any kind. Um, and then for you all as well, if any issues arise, just raise your hand so we can stop the clock. But you have 30 seconds each, and they'll let us know how many rounds we had. Yesterday we had nine rounds. Yes. And today we'll see how many rounds we can we can get through. Okay? Can we cheer them on? Whoa, whoa, whoa. And I believe all of our contestants, all of the regions, two representatives from each region, and they've all been studying the book of what? Ezekiel, right? And if anybody knows, I think when we when we thought about the what's the Bible that's on our t-shirts? Ezekiel, right? That's been the inspiration for our um, theme this year. So they've been studying all of the books of Ezekiel, right? And they're basically ready for today's um, international quiz. And the winner gets to take the crown to their region. Are we excited? Who's rooting for Mega Region 1? Right? Who's rooting for Mega Region 2? Who's rooting for Mega Region 3? Who's rooting for Mega Region 4? Who's rooting for Canada East? And for Canada West? All right, we're ready. Oh, as, as we wait, we're going to have the contestants introduce themselves.
All right, Mega Region One, we'll start with you. Introductions. Your name. Uh, hello, my name is Samuel Oyefeso, and I'm representing MFM Newark, New Jersey. Um, my name is Marcus Babashola. Uh, I am from MFM Newark, also uh, from New Jersey, and I'm representing Mega Region One. My name is Daniel from uh, MFM, uh, City of Refuge, and I'm representing MFM Region 2. My name is Samuel Ekpe, and I'm from MFM We're Both, and I'm representing Region 2. My name is Shiloh Benete, and I'm from MFM Minnesota, and I'm representing Region 3. My name is Moyulua Famayua. I'm from Branch of Indianapolis, and I'm representing Region 3. My name is, <laughs> My name is Isaac Ogundere. I'm representing MFM Solution Center in Colorado, and I'm from Region 4. My name is Jacob. I'm from MFM Solution Center, Colorado. I'm going to be representing Region 4. Uh, my name is Daniel. I'm from Calgary, and I'm going to be representing Canada West. My name is Dorcas. I'm from Edmonton, and I I'm going to be representing MF, uh, Canada West. My name is Favor. I'm from Toronto, Ontario. I'm going to be re representing MFM Canada East. My name is Jeshon Arahu, and I am from MFM Toronto, and I'll be representing Canada East. All right. We just need a thumbs up from our tech team that we're ready to go. All right, not quite yet. Our contestants, make sure you're praying <laughs> and focused.
to go. I apologize for the delay. Tech team, are we good to go? All right, and just a reminder from um, what was said earlier, no cheating. Well, it's only you, your partner, that's physically there with you and God. All right, let's go. Michael Region 1, are you ready? Yes, pick a question. Question number five. What, whose mouth does God say he will put hooks in because of their opposition to Israel? Pharaoh of Egypt, the king of Babylon, the prince of Tyre, Gog of, or Gog of the land of Magog. And you have 19 seconds left. Whose mouth does God say he will put hooks in because of their opposition to Israel? Pharaoh of Egypt, the king of Babylon, Nine seconds, eight seconds, six, five. C, is it C? It is D, unfortunately. All right. It's okay. Great job. Great effort. We're just warming up. Mega Region 2, are you ready? What question do you want to pick? 17. 17. All right. Which famous phrase is repeated throughout Ezekiel's prophecies to emphasize divine judgment? A, the time is near. B, repent and live. C, thus says the Lord, D, the day of the Lord. And you have 17 seconds to go. C. C. And the answer is C. Great Ooh, job. A hundred points for region two. All right, mega region three. What question are you going to pick? 36. 36. And let's remember to start the timer after the question is asked. 36, you said. Actually, 31. 31. They changed their mind. What are the sins of Jerusalem listed in chapter 22? Laziness, ignorance? B. B. 
B, idolatry, murder, and... Whoa, that, whoa, whoa. Correct answer. The answer is B. All right. Mega region four. 25. Question number 25. What did the divine in Ezekiel's parables represent? The house of David, the king of Israel, the city of Jerusalem, or D, the house of Judah? Sixteen seconds left. Fifteen seconds left. C. Is it C? No, it's D. All right, we're gonna move to Canada West. Canada West, are you ready? What do you want to select? Seven. Question number seven. How are the walls of the inner sanctuary decorated? A, with engravings of cherubim and palm trees. B, with precious stones and ornaments. C, with tapestries and costly fabric. D, with the choicest gold and silver. 20 seconds, 19, 18. You have 10 seconds left. Now would be the time B. to answer. Would you say B? Uh, it's A. It's okay. We have another round. And the answer was A? Okay. Yes. B. Canada. East. East. 26, please. Question number 26. What is the faith of Egypt described in Ezekiel 32? It will be forever scattered among the nations. It will be gathered with those who go down to the pit. It will rule over the entire world. Or it will B. become... Sorry. B. 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 Is it B? Yes, it is. B is the answer. No Canada East. That was East. Canada East. All right. Mega Region 1, are you ready? Question number 12. In Ezekiel's vision of the restored temple, who were those that Ezekiel described as having gone astray in chapter 44? The sons of Zadok, the sons of Levi, the sons of Aaron, or the sons of Jacob? 26 seconds, 25 seconds. The sons of Zadok, the sons of Levi, the sons of Aaron, or the sons of Jacob? In Ezekiel's vision... Who is it? You have 16 seconds left. The sons of Zadok, the sons of Levi. Is it B? Yes, it is. The sons of Levi. All right. Region 2, are you ready? Uh, 45. Okay, mega region 2, 45. Question number 45. In chapter 9, what were the men with the weapons commanded to do? A, gather the faithful. B, slay without pity. C, protect the city. D, rebuild the temple. B. B, slay without pity. And the answer is B. Can we celebrate them some more? All right, Mega Region 3. 34. 34. Question number 34. What does God say he is looking for among the people in chapter 22? A, a person hey. is to stand hey. in the gap. B, what did you say? A. A, Correct. all right, awesome. That was mega region. That was mega region three. Now three. we're over to mega region four. What number? I'm oh, sorry, three. Three. Okay. What will be done to cleanse the land after the feet of Gagog? Is it A, the people will leave the land desolate? B, the people will wash the temple with water? C, the people will bury the remains for seven months? Or D, the people will sprinkle land with ashes? 
what will be done to cleanse the land. 22 seconds left. 20 seconds. What will be done to cleanse the land after the defeat of Gagog? 15 seconds. 12 seconds left. You have seven seconds left. The people will leave the land a. desolate. A. Is it A? No, it is C. All right. Meg. Canada West. Canada West. Canada West. 11. Question number 11 for Canada West. What offerings are to be made by the prince of Sab on Sabbath according to chapter 6? A, burnt offerings and fellowship offerings. B, grain offerings and drink offerings. C, thanksgiving offerings and peace offerings. D, sin offerings and guilt offerings. How many seconds? 19 seconds. 18 seconds. D. You said D? D. Sin offerings and guilt offerings. The answer is A. Great try. Burnt offerings and fellowship offerings. All right. Mega Region 4, are you ready? No. Canada East. West. Oh, sorry. Canada East. 14. 14. What did Ezekiel prophesy about the city of Jerusalem and his vision of the cooking pot, according to chapter 24? It will be filled with wealth, it will be destroyed by fire, it will be flooded by a river, or D, it will be abandoned by its inhabitants. What did Ezekiel prophesy about the city of Jerusalem and his vision? Is it A, is it B, is it C, or D? You have 17 seconds left, 16 seconds left. What did Ezekiel prophesy about the city of Jerusalem? B. B, is it B? Yes, it is. All right. Let's do a quick check of what the points are right now. We have region one with 100 points. Go for, it's all clap for region Mega one. region one, let's celebrate them, 100 points. Region two. 200 points. Region four and Canada West, we're still, we're warming up. And Canada East and region three, we're also right there. Awesome. So we've had two rounds. We have six more to go. So anything can happen. We're still giving it our best shot, okay? All right, so let's go back to Mega Region 1. Question six. What would happen to the weapon of Gog's army? A, they will be buried. B, they will be thrown into the sea. They will be burned with fire for seven years. Or D, they will be melted down. What would happen to the weapons of Gog's army? You have 18 seconds left. 17 seconds. What would happen to the weapons? Is it B, they will be thrown into the sea? No, it is C. All right, Mega Region 2. Eight. What did Ezekiel see returning to the temple in chapter 43? A, the, per the Passover menorah. B, the tablets of stone. C, the glory of the Lord. D, the, or D, the Ark of the Covenant. What did Ezekiel see return into the temple in chapter 43? You have 19 seconds left, 17 seconds at this time. What did Ezekiel see when he was returning to the temple in chapter 43? The Passover C. menorah. Is it C? Yes, it is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So for our contestants, if you want to pick a question, look at this screen. That's, this screen is going to show you which questions are available. The screen up there. And if you cannot see it, we can verify for you. You can guess and we can confirm, okay? So Mega Region 3. 33. 33, yes, that's available. 
33. What did God say would happen to the city of Tyre? A, it would later become a great empire. B, it would be destroyed and never to be rebuilt. C, it would... You said B? B. D? B. B. B is in boy. That's correct. Okay, everyone. We're going to keep pressing through. Sometimes this screen glitches, but we're going to make it through, okay? So we're going to go to, great job, Mega Region 3. Let's celebrate them. Then we're going to go to Mega Region 4. 32. You said 32? Yes. Yes, that's available. Okay. What did the sisters representing Samaria and Jerusalem do that was considered sinful? A, they were engaged in idolatry. B, they were worsh they worshipped other gods. C, C they sold, they corrupted, sold goods. corrupted goods. D, they cared for the not for the poor. B. Is it B? Yes. A hundred points from Mega Region Four. Canada West. What question would you like? Two. Question number two for Canada West. What does God promise to do to the mountains of Israel in chapter 36? Is it A, destroy them, B, bless and restore them? C, abandon them, or D, use them as protection from other nations? What does God promise to do to the mountains of Israel in chapter 36? is abandon them and D is use them as protection from other nations. You have eight seconds left. Four, three. A. Is it A? No, it was B. Bless and restore them. Great effort. All right. Canada East. East. Are you ready? One, please. Number, number one. Yes, of course, number one. What imagery is used to describe Egypt's destruction in chapter 32? A net being spread over them. B, earthquake shaking the ground. C, fire consuming everything. And D, water flooding the cities. B, B earthquake oh, shaking. Sorry, not B, not B, I meant A, sorry. A. I meant A, sorry, I got it's, the answer is A. The answer is A, but you had answer B. I meant A, sorry. I got mixed up. There's still another round to make up for it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Can we it. give him a huge round of applause? All right, Mega Region 1, back to you. And, and just, just let, let's pause. Although we have a timer, take a deep breath and then answer. It's always good to pause and then answer, okay? That'll help everybody, okay? Let's start round three. Yes, this is round three. And right now we have region two and region three with 300 points each. Canada East with 200, region four with 100, and region one with 100 points. And Canada West, they're still coming, but they was, they're going to get there. All right, let's go to Mega Region 1. What question would you like? Question number 50 for, Canada, for uh, Mega Region 1. 5 0, 50. In what year did Ezekiel begin his prophetic ministry? Was it 600 BC? 586 BC, 597 BC, or 605? 
You have 23 seconds. In what year did he begin his ministry? Was it 600, 586? You have 14 seconds left. Was it 600 and 605 or 597? You have seven seconds left. Five seconds. In what year? Just give an answer. Any answer. Two, one. You said C. Is your mic not working? The answer was D. So, but please make Good sure. Effort. By Thank the time it's five seconds, that's pretty much when you have to answer, okay? And, and please make sure that you put in the mic by your mouth and you're being loud. All right, Mega, Mega Region, region three. Two. Uh, two. Oh, Mega 20, Region 25. two. 25. Mega Region two, 25. It's taken? Okay. Can you please pick another option? 32. 32. It's also taken. Uh, seven. Okay, question Nine. seven. Seven is also taken. Nine. All right, question number nine. Question number nine. What was the purpose of Ezekiel's prophecy against Tyre in chapters 26 to 28 to call them to repentance, to foretell their rise to power, teaching the law incorrectly, or to prophesy their destruction and judgment. What was the purpose of Ezekiel's prophecy? D. Is it D? Yes, it is. 100 points to Mega Region 2. Mega Region 3, are you ready? Yes. What question would you like? 37. All right, question number 37. According to Ezekiel, who will lead the final battle against Gog and Magog, as mentioned in chapter 38? The Prince of Peace, D. D, the Prince of... It was B, the people of Israel. All right. Good effort. Good effort. Good effort. Mega Region 4. Re remember, take a deep breath. The thought might come back to you, okay? 10. Number 10. What was the sign given to Ezekiel concerning his inability to speak during a specific period in chapter 3? Was it he was unable to see, his tongue stuck to the roof of his mouth? He could not eat bread or he was bound with ropes. 17, 16, 15 seconds. He could not eat bread or he was bound with ropes. B. 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 Is it B? That's it correct. Is. All right. 22. Canada West, number 22. What is the name of the city that was 18,000 cubits all around as mentioned in chapter 48? Jerusalem. The Lord is there, Zion or Bethlehem. What is the, city, what is the name of the city that was 18,000 cubits all around as mentioned in chapter 48? 18 a. seconds left. A. Is it A? No. The it was the is Lord B. is there. The Lord is there. All right. Let's move on to Canada East. 38. 38. Is available and the question says what was to happen to those without the mark given by the man with the writing kit a they would be saved B they would be destroyed C they would become priests and D they would be exiled B, is B. It B? the answer is, is B all right, so our scores right now after this third round 
are as follows. Region one with 100 points. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. Region one, celebrate yourselves. Region one with 100 points. Mega region one. Mega region two with 400 points. Mega region three with 300 points. Mega region four with 200 points. And Canada East with 300 points. And Canada West still coming up. With... All right, are we ready for round four? Yes. Let's go. Mega Region 1, are you ready? What question would you like? Just say the question and we'll check if it's available. Is question three available? No. Question number two. No. Five. No. no. Would you like question four? Forty-one. Yes. What did Ezekiel use to shave his head and beard? A razor, a sword, a threshing tool, or a sharp stone? What did Ezekiel use to shave his head and beard? A. Is it A? No, it is B, a sword. Good All right. effort. That was a great effort. I just, I, I heard some people saying the answer, so I want to remind you. Even if you know the answer, let's let them answer the question, okay? Thank you, most especially our parents. Thank you so much. Okay, Mega Region 2. Four. Four. Question number four. Who was Ezekiel's wife, whose death was used as a sign to the people of Israel in chapter 24. Is it Rachel B, A, Rachel B, Hannah, C, Naomi, D, unknown name? D. Is it D? D, unknown name, correct. All right, Mega Region 3. Twenty-one. Question number twenty-one. How did Ezekiel symbolize the siege of Jerusalem? A, by lying on his left side. B, by fasting for 40 days. C, by wearing sackcloth and ashes. Or D, by building a wooden castle around the temple. How did Ezekiel symbolize the signs of Jer the siege of Jerusalem? Is it A, by lying on his left side, or by fasting for 40 days? Or by wearing sackcloth and ashes, or by building a wooden castle around the temple? You have less... D. D. You said D? Yeah. D. No, the answer is A. All right, good effort. Mega Region 4, what's your question? Question 40. Question 40. How is Israel's mother describing the lament for the princes of Israel? Is it A, as a lioness, B, as a vineyard, C, as a shepherdess, or D, as a queen? How is Israel's mother described in the lament for the, for the princes of Israel? Is it as a lioness, as a vineyard, as a shepherdess, or as a queen? You have 13 seconds left. A. Is it A as a lioness? Yes, it is. That was region four. Canada West, are you ready? What question would you like? Canada West, question. Please pick your question. Any question. One question. 
Is 34 available? No. Pick another question. Canada West, Canada West, pick a question. 36? 46. 36, 36. Question number 36. What does God accuse Jerusalem of in chapter 22? Is it A, idolatry and bloodshed? B, Laziness and cowardice, C, selfishness and unkindness, or D, idolatry and adultery. What does God accuse Jerusalem of in chapter 22? You have 20 seconds. 17 seconds. D. D. D or B? D. D. Right, ma'am? D. D is in dog. Yes. And the answer is? The answer is A, idolatry and bloodshed. A. We're going to take a quick break so that they can try and fix the screen. Okay, do we want to do Canada? Let's, let's close this round out, and then we're going to take a break. And during that break, all of you are going to pray for your, 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 your friends here. And pray that God will give them grace and power to scale through. Amen. Amen. Yep. Amen. Okay. Canada, Canada West. Canada West. What question would you like? No, no, sorry. Canada East. I was looking at you. Sorry. Canada East. I remember. Take a deep breath. And the screen is praying right now. We have option. I'll read you the question. We have 13, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 23, 24, 27, 28, 29, 27, 27. Right. Question number 27. What does the day of the Lord signify for Egypt in Ezekiel 30? Is it a day of victory, a day of darkness and doom, a day of celebration, or a day of healing? What does the day of the Lord Be. signify? Be a day of darkness and doom. That's correct. Woo! Canada East. All right. So our scores right now are Region 1, 100 points. Can we hear it for Region 1? Everyone, let's celebrate everybody. Region 2, 500 points. They are in the lead. Region 2 prayed last night and they studied. All right. Region 3, 300 points. Region 4, 300 points. Canada East, 400 points. Canada West is still coming up, and there's still more time, okay? All right, so we're going to take a quick break. You all can get up and stretch. Remember, pray for them. No, 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 you all remain, please. We don't want to start looking for you. We want to try and fix the screen, so...
All volunteers need to go to the registration room. All volunteers. All volunteers. If you're a volunteer, please go to that room, the registration room. All volunteers. All volunteers needed now. All volunteers.
All right, the Bible quiz competition is about to begin again. Let's get back to our seats. All the people in the back, let's get back to our seats. Come back to your seats.
Ready? You can see the questions you have available. Okay. We have three more rounds. Mega Region 1, are you ready? Can we all start coming back? There are three more rounds. Are you ready? All right, what question for Mega Region 1? Question number 39. What symbolic act did Ezekiel perform in chapter 12 to represent the exile? Burned his belongings, repaired the altar, cut off his beard, or dug through the walls of his, of his house? 25 seconds. Did he burn his belongings? Did he repair the altar in his temple, cut off his beard, or dug through the wall of his house? 17 seconds. What symbolic act did Ezekiel perform in chapter 12? D, is it D, dug through the wall of his house? D, yes it is D. 100 points from Mega Region 1. Mega Region 2. What question? Mega Region 2. 24. Question number 24. Question number 24. Which tribe is given a portion of land closest to the sanctuary? A, Judah, B, Levi, C, Benjamin, or D, Dan? Which tribe is given a portion of land closest to the sanctuary? 23 seconds. Is it Judah, is it Levi, is it Benjamin, or Dan? 18 seconds. Which tribe is given a portion of land closest to the sanctuary? 13 seconds. Judah, Levi, Benjamin, B. Dan. What did you say? B. B is in boy. Is it B, Levi? No, it was Judah. Great effort. Mega Region 3, what question? 23. Mega Region 3, question 23. In Ezekiel's vision of the restored temple, what flows out from under the threshold of the temple towards the east? Is it oil? Is it blood? Is it water or wine? In Ezekiel's vision of the restored temple, what flows out from under the threshold of the temple toward the east? Is it A, A, is it A, oil? No, it was water. We try again on the Rex round. Mega Region 4. All right, Mega Region 4. What question would you like to pick? 29. Okay, 29. 29. What, why did God judge Seir, Moab, Edom, and Philistia? A, for their unfaithfulness to Israel. B, for their kindness to strangers. C, for their hospitality towards Israel. D, for their worship of God. Why did God judge Seir, Moab, Edom, and Philistia. You have 19 seconds, 17 seconds, 15 seconds. Why did God, God judge Seir, Moab? You have less than 10 seconds left. A. Is it A, for, for their unfaithfulness to Israel? Is it A? No, the answer is C. All right. Canada West. 
Hannah the West, pick a question. 44. 44. What metaphor does God use for Jerusalem in Ezekiel chapter 16? An abandoned child, a lost ship, a faithful servant, or a prodigal son? What metaphor does God use for Jerusalem in Ezekiel 16? An abandoned child, 21 seconds, 20 seconds. A lost sheep, a. is it A, an abandoned child? Yes, it is A, an abandoned child. All right. All right. Canada East. 47, please. 47. 47 for Canada East. What idols did the elders of Israel set up in their hearts? A. Idols of gold and silver. B. Idols of their own images. C, idols that are made of stone carvings, or D, idols that cause them to stumble into iniquity. D. D. Is it D? Yes, it is. All right, we're going into our next round. Mega Region 1, are you ready? What question would you like? Question number 35 for Mega Region 1. What happened to Pelatius, son of Benaiah, when Ezekiel was prophesying? A, he repented. B, he fled from the city. C, he was struck dead. Or D, he was imprisoned. What happened to Pelatius, son of Benaiah, while Ezekiel was prophesying? He repented, he fled the city, he was struck dead in 17 seconds, or he was imprisoned, 14, 13. C. Is it C, he was struck dead? Yes, it is. All right, Mega Region 2, are you ready? 28. 28. 28. Yeah. 28. Okay, pick another question. Can you pick another question? 15. Can we use question 15? Question number 15. What did Ezekiel's vision of the scroll represent in chapter 2? A, the sins of Israel, B, the covenant of, with God, C, the restoration of Jerusalem, or D, the judgment on Babylon. 18 seconds, 16 seconds. What did Ezekiel's vision of the scroll represent in chapter 2? 10 seconds, 9 seconds. Give an answer, any answer. A. Is it A, the sins of Israel? Yes, it is. All right, Mega Region four, three. Are you are you ready? Forty-two. Question number forty-two. What does Ezekiel describe as being written on the new heart given to the people of Israel? The law of God, songs of praise, the names of the twelve tribes, or the seal of God? Twenty-two seconds. What does Ezekiel describe as being written on the new heart? given to the people of Israel, 16 seconds, 15 seconds, 14 seconds, the law of D. God. D. Is it D, the seal of God? No, it was the law of God. Try again next time. We can do this. Mega Region 4, what question? 
Question 48. How does God describe Jerusalem when talking about their conduct with Asara in chapter 16? As a faithful wife, as an adulterous wife, as a beloved daughter, or as a righteous queen? 20, 18 seconds. How does God describe Jerusalem? Is it as a, as a faithful wife? B. Is it B, as an adulterous wife? Yes, it is B. Canada West, are we ready? 19. One second. Question number 19. What was Ezekiel commanded to do for 390 days as a, sin of Israel, as a sign of Israel's sin? Was it dry fasting, weep, lie on his side, or burn incense? C. C, lie on his side. Is it C? Is it C? Yes, it is. All right, Canada East. 30. 30. All right, number 30. Number 30. What imagery does Ezekiel use to describe the coming judgment of Jerusalem in chapter 21? A sword drawn for slaughter? A river of fire, a dark cloud, a great earthquake. 21 seconds. Nine seconds. A. A? Okay. Is it A? Awesome. So I think we're now in our, At our last round, round for today. Can we all give everyone a round of applause? Okay. Mega Region 1, are you ready? What question? Question 20. Which of the following is the first nation that Ezekiel prophesies against? Is it Assyria? Is it Ammon? Is it Egypt? Or is it Persia? Which of the following is the first nation that Ezekiel prophesies against? 24 seconds. 23 seconds. Is it A? Is it B? Is it C or D? 17 seconds. 16 seconds. Which of the following is the first nation that Ezekiel prophesies against? We have less than 10 seconds. Give an answer, any answer. C is it C? Is it Egypt? No, it was the land of Ammon. Good try, good try. Mega Region 2, are you ready? 43. 43 for Mega Region 2. In chapter 20, what did God recount to the, ch to the elders of Israel? The history of their rebellion, the stories of their heroes, the blessings he had given them, or D, the laws he had established. 21 seconds, 20 seconds, 18 seconds. In chapter 20, what did God recount to the elders of Israel? Is it the history of their rebellion, the stories of their heroes, the blessings he had given D. them? D? Is it D, the laws he had established? No, it was the history of their rebellion. Mega Region 3. 49. Question number 49. What did the elders of Israel do that displeased God in chapter 20? A, they worshipped idols. 
See, B, they sought God in sincerely. C, they offered false sacrifices. Or D, they ignored the poor. 19 seconds, 18 seconds, 17 seconds. What did the elders A. of Israel do? A. Is it A, they worshiped idols? Yes, it is. Right. Region four. 46. Question number 46 for region four. In chapter two, to whom was Ezekiel sent to prophesy? Is it A, the Egyptians, B, the Israelites, C, the Babylonians, or D, the Assyrians? In chapter two, to whom was Ezekiel sent to prophesy? You have 20 seconds, 19, 18 seconds. Who was he sent to prophesy for? Is it A, is it B, is it C or D? B. B, is it B, the Israelites? Yes, it is. Great job, Region 4. Going on to Canada West. There's 13, 16, or 18. What question would you like? Make a choice. Question number 16. What significant event involving Ezekiel's wife did he prophesy about? A, her miraculous healing, B, her betrayal, C, her untimely death, or D, her sudden depart departure? You have 20 seconds. What significant event involving Ezekiel's wife did he prophesy about? You have 15 seconds, 13 seconds, 12 seconds. Was it her miraculous healing? You have less than 10 seconds, seven. Give an answer, C. any answer. C. Is it C, her untimely death? Yes, it is. All right, finally, Canada East. There's 13 or 18. Pick a, pick 13, a please. All right, question number 13. According to Ezekiel, what was the sin of Sodom and her daughters mentioned in chapter 16? Was it A, idolatry and sorcery, B, pride and excess, C, murder and theft, or D, fornication and adultery? 19 seconds. B. You see, what did you say? B. B. Is it B, pride and excess? All right. And right now, and this is the end of our Bible All tournament the glory for today. Goes to God. All the glory we have, goes to God. We have Canada East at 700 points. Canada West at 300 points. Region 4 at 500 points. Region 3 at 400 points. Region 2 at 600 points. And Region 1 at 300 points. Can we all give all of our contestants a huge round of applause? And right now, in tallying all of our points from day one and day two, for day two, Region 1 has 1,000 points. Woo! Region 2 has 1,200 points. Woo! Region 3 has 400 points. Woo! Region 4 has 500 points. Woo! Canada West has 1,000 points. And Canada East has 1,400 points. Woo! So right now in the lead is Canada East followed by Canada West, followed by Region 2, followed by Region 1, then Region 4, then Region 3. Let's pray for them, because tomorrow is the last day of this quiz. All right. They did an awesome job, and just so you know, during the break, they prayed together. And some of you see that some of them improved. So prayer works. Tell your neighbor, prayer works. Read your Bible more. All right, so I believe it's time for lunch break. And, and our lunch is going to be served in 
the breakout rooms and the peace room. So if you're already on this side, please go to the peace room, the breakout room and the destiny room. If you're already on the destiny room side, please go to the destiny room. Okay, so the lunch is for the youth, for adults that want other type of food. There's food for sale outside from some vendors. But in here, we're gonna prioritize making sure that the children and the youth Youths are fed. fed. Thank you. And then adults can also partake, but there's food for sale outside. 